Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian here at the Paris Air Show at the historic airfield in Le Bourget outside the French capital. Our coverage here is sponsored by L3 Technologies and Leonardo DRS. And we have with us Magnus Lewis Olson, who is the Market Area Europe Head of Saab, uh, at Saab Technologies. Magnus, thanks very much for joining us. Pleasure. So you guys had uh, some great news last week, the first flight of the Gripen E fighter. You guys have been working on the program for many years. In September, we were up in uh, Linköping, and there were a lot of covered up areas where you were working on that and on the TX uh, aircraft that you're partnered uh, on with uh, Boeing. Talk to us a little bit about the first flight and what you guys achieved. Well, I think the, uh, the first flight last week was a, a great success. I mean, as a test pilot, it was a dream because it was very uneventful. Uh, perfect startup. No aero codes, good flight, stable. Test pilot was very happy, said it was tremendously powerful, good acceleration, and uh, came back after 40 minutes with a perfect sortie. Uh, that's uh, certainly something to be proud of. Who was the test pilot who made the first flight? Was it uh, Marcus? Yes, it was Marcus Vant, yeah. Uh, he became quite a hit on our website when we went to Linköping, and we, he, he was the one who broke the thousands of uh, hit marks for us uh, when we were uh, uh, a brand new website. So we're very thankful uh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. To, uh, to, to Marcus. What's the next phase uh, of the program? You guys have been uh, looking at a model-based approach to the design development of the aircraft to eliminate the need for prototypes. When I ask you about that in a, in a, in a minute or two. But more specifically, talk us, talk us through the test program, the gates you guys are going to go through over the coming months as you work to get this aircraft into service. Well, the aircraft, although it's, it's as you say, based on model-based design, and but it is a fighter and it has to go through the normal ropes of testing. Maybe we can uh, be a bit smarter, but you still have to open up the envelope. You still have to do some of the testing. Now we go into a three or four week period where I think it's been very professionally planned by Saab Test and Evaluation uh, and by the engineers at Saab. But, uh, so they'll be going on with that for three or four weeks. Then it's holiday. And then uh, back again a few weeks later and the, the program will continue. Talk to us about the model-based design approach because one of the things that we were uh, stunned to hear when we were on the production line was how the aircraft comes together without any specialized tooling and that the whole process moves with remarkable speed and that actually the first hundred airplanes or so aren't prototype airplanes or even dozens of airplanes. Really, they're production articles from the first step. Talk to us about how you guys do that. Well, it's, it's a bit like the paperless office, but it is paperless. I mean, you do you know you design uh, in like a CAD program, I suppose everyone knows roughly what that is, and and then the engineers and the mechanics and the, the actual airplane builders use that and the 3D models on how to how to insert and how to sort of put put the aircraft together, and and that way I think you you learn the ropes better than looking on a on a two-dimensional blueprint. Uh, I've also seen and heard that the uh, uh, the, the actual pieces of the puzzle, they fit together perfectly. So I think that, can't promise that everything will go, you know, like Lego, but it, it has made a tremendous improvement to uh, the build of the aircraft. Let's talk a little bit about some of the customers for the airplane. You guys have had, you've got your first order under your belt. Bring us up to speed on that, as well as the other opportunities you guys are pursuing. Gripen uh, proved to be a popular aircraft, the CD. It's still in demand, and you guys are doing a lot of upgrade work for customers yeah. around the world. Talk to us both about what's happening new and what are the opportunities you're pursuing with the E, but also the work you guys are doing on the C and D that should keep the company busy for many more years to come. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'm a CD pilot myself, flown it a lot. I think still think it's the most modern fighter in the world, and it's proven itself on exercises all over the world. Uh, I think the customers that fly the CD today, they still feel that they're flying the latest there is on the fighter line anywhere in the world. We will do upgrades. The last one was the Weapon System 20, which sort of gave a lot of new capabilities. I won't go into all of them, of course, but it opened up a lot of new possibilities and tactical capabilities for the aircraft. We take care of our customers. We want to find more CD customers. The aircraft uh, is only a few years old. It's, it's still in its teens. So uh, we want to find more CD customers. And I think the CD customers that we f fi find will find that when they go on exercises or if they have to use it operationally, they will find that that is, that is the pinnacle of fighters right now. Um, who are the guys you're talking to for CDs? 
And who are some potential customers? You already have your launch customer in the form of Brazil that's ordered yeah. the airplanes. Talk to us about what are some of the well, other obviously customers. Obviously, I can't talk about all of them, but I can say talk about the ones that has been in the papers. I mean, in, in our region, in, uh, in Europe, I mean, we're talking to Slovakia. We've been in the press in Bulgaria that we've been down selected. And when it comes to the E, we have a uh, campaign in Finland. We are campaigning in, in oh, we're in the Belgium uh, quest for new fighters. But of course, there are more. But something is kept as a surprise as well. So let me ask you, I mean, one of the strategies you guys had with the Gripen and its popularity was aiming not quite as low as the F-5 market, but it was a sophisticated airplane that was smaller, very easy to support, maintain, and deliver capability. There are those folks who are looking, for example, at the M346 light fighter, the, the, the one that uh, Leonardo has just unveiled, and suggesting that that might be something that could give you guys competition on, 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 on that sort of light fighter part of it. Do you guys see that as a threat at all? If I were them, I would, I would claim that too. I think that uh, we've seen in the exercises, it doesn't really matter if you call it fourth generation or light or whatever, we can take on anyone with the Gripen. And uh, I think with the capabilities that we have in Gripen today, and we have had in Swede, the Swedish Air Force when it comes to data links and, and things I can't talk about on camera, and with the weapon system, the only aircraft in the world with an operational meteor, I think it's quite far away from, from a statement, maybe like Leonardo, we, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe they got something up their sleeve as well. Um, there, there are those who are, look at the, your TX offering, the airplane you guys developed with Boeing uh, for the US Air Force competition, very hotly contested. The T-100, which is sort of the Americanized version of the M346 is in there. Uh, you know, full disclosure, Boeing is, is one of our sponsors. Um, you know, the T-50 is in there. And uh, one of your competitors, you know, said about your airplane, it's, it's a really great airplane, but thankfully they're a bit late to the party. That the other two com competitors in this are out there, they're out on the market, they've sealed some orders in. Do you feel that that's a disadvantage at all as you guys go to the final drive of what could be one of the biggest uh, programs, certainly for Saab, and will still be a very big program for the U.S. Air Force? Well, it would be wrong for me. I haven't been involved in the TX. I'm responsible for, for the European market. This is America. Having said that, I'm a test pilot, so I suppose my short answer to that question is no. <laughs> Magnus, thanks very much. We really appreciate it. Best of luck on the program, and we look to get more uh, updates from you guys and maybe even visit you guys in Lynchiping. Thanks Thank very, very much. much. Thank you.